kind of peek just to see, you know, uh, yeah, what's what uh, today in history, what's going on? Because our our buddies over at McLeod Law, they Calgary, uh, Calgary born and raised. Don't tell me. Don't tell me you're going back to like the Flames losing four games. In a no, Ottawa I'm not doing anything like fucking that. Fucking no fan pandemic McLe- season. If you do that, I'm going to swing on you. McLeod Law. <laughs> multifaceted great uh, great people down to earth you, you get a vision in your head of uh, law and all the, these are really good people peter klein at the front of that class mcleod-law.com is the website personal injury uh, lawyer among the numer- numerous things that they do uh, if you've suffered personal injury and you're having some struggles trying to get things going your way then peter klein is a guy you need to contact 403-254-3864 on social media right across the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at McLeod Law LLC, helping to re- to uh, relieve your stress so you could focus on recovery. Uh, it's you know what it's not a it's not a huge super big moment in Flames history, but it's a guy that we've talked about sparingly. He would just kind of drop into our conversation, and usually it's a you know what God he he was good. God he was good. We don't talk about how good he was. Man, he was good. On this date back in 1987, it was a two-goal night, including a penalty shot in a 3-2 Flames victory on the road in Minnesota. It was goal, one of the one of the two on the night, was goal 200 in the career of Joe Mullen. We do not talk about Joe, Joe Mullen nearly enough for what he did in Calgary. Now, it was a short stay, but he's a Hockey Hall of Famer. He was the first American player to 500 goals and 1,000 points, won a cup here in 89, two Lady Bings, went on to have two more cup wins in 91 and 92, sorry, Rhett, with the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins. As a flame, 190 goals and 388 points in 345 games and finished his career 502 goals, 1,063 points in 1,062 games. You look for those. That, did he win a cup? Yeah. Ding. A major award? Lady Bing. Yep. 500 goals, over a point a game. First American to, to hit that 500 and 1,000 plateau. Wow. He's one of, truly, and I remember at the time, Hall of Famer, Hall of Famer, and you start to look at it, say, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you did you pay close attention? That's how good those teams were too, right? Like we talk about Gary Suter's numbers always being eye popping, and like, oh yeah, they just Roberts and Newendike were there, and Makarov came in, and like, holy shit, they were deep. That was a good team, man. Um, talk and- to guys that played with Mullen. Oh, they rave about him. The uh, one of seven Flames to score fifty in a season. You guys want to take a swing at the other six? I got it in front of me. There's some Newendike. obvious ones. Newendike did it twice. Iggy. Iggy did it twice. Uh, Lube? Lube's the only Swede ever to score 50. Best trivia on earth. It's How much is that now? Three? It's three. You got three to go. I got three to go. Oh, I can't. Lanny had yeah. 66. Yeah. Whew. You had Gary Roberts with 53. Yeah, yeah. Also missed some games. But Knox. Theo, you guessed? Or you didn't? No, I you didn't. Theo had yeah, 50 of course. Worse. Theo had 51 in 90, 91. So two years after the cup. What about Jason Weimer? Weems don't not seeing him here. No. A little down the list here. Yeah, no, no. Robert Reichel, Val Burry, Christian Assis. No, he's not cracked the top. <laughs> it wasn't page, his right? role. It wasn't his game. It's not his role. No, it's, it's not yeah, his role. We're teasing him. And the last, just kind of a footer on uh, on the Joe Mullen as a Calgary Flame. How's this deal that brings him in? Uh, Calgary Flames get Terry Johnson and Rick Wilson and Joe Mullen. For Eddie Beers, Charlie Bourgeois, and Gino Cavallini. Hmm. Oh, sensational. You hate to Pretty lose good. a name bar like Beers, but you get a 50 goal yeah. count. <laughs> uh, then he comes in, and as I said, there he puts up nearly 200 goals and 300 in the Stanley Cup and that sort of thing. They thought maybe at 33 years of age that uh, maybe he was done because in that last yeah, right, year, right, right. he had a, a big, a steep drop in points. He went from 110 points to 69. Mm. 51 goals to 38. They thought maybe Joe Mullen's done. Let's get him out of here. <laughs> Traded him to Pittsburgh for a second rounder. Mm. So is this. And then. Uh, Two more cups in Pittsburgh. That's right. 91, <laughs> so, 92. Yeah. 